No one is more deserving of this than you, Your Majesty. This is a very private coronation. Each one of you in your own way is responsible for it. And my apologies to you, Mr. Trevor. <laughs> it comes with the territory, Your Majesty. I must tell you, it was long my husband's dream that our two countries be united in friendship. You have helped make that dream come true. Thank you. Your Majesty. I needed some way to attract your royal attention. I should have thought anonymity was part of your stock in trade, Mr. Ropley. Must I drink alone, Your Majesty? I hope you won't feel neglected if I don't offer you a knighthood, Mr. Robley. A simple uh, thank you would do nicely, Your Majesty. Exactly what am I supposed to be grateful to you for? There's Gregory Auric, whose downfall I most certainly hastened. Wonder Woman and the IADC had something to do with that, you know. Of course. But would they have appeared at all if I had not provided the impetus? <laughs> Your logic amazes me. Then consider this. Where are they now when you're in real danger? Danger? Of being kissed. Oh, I'd rather give you a knighthood, Mr. Robley. Oh, that's what you say now. But as we become better acquainted, you may change your mind. Will that be all, Mr. Robley? Don't you mean Sir Evan? You truly are everything they say about you. I could use an ambassador. 